What's going on guys? Today I'll be reviewing the fixed car repair sensor. All right guys, so this is the fixed car repair sensor. So this is a sensor that connects to your OBD port as some of you have probably used basic scanner tools in the past. So this will connect in the same port, the OBD2. So this will work for any gas powered car after 1996 and also I think any diesel powered car after 2008. And so this sensor is normally $59, but if you actually use my link below, you can get it for only 20 bucks which is actually a really good deal compared to any other scanner tools. So the use of this should be pretty simple. It basically says download the app on your smartphone. So there's a fixed app that's free and you just register your account. And then you just need to input your uh, serial code that's on the back of your sensor. So here I've opened up the app and it says I need to install the sensor. So we're gonna head over to the car to install it. So we're gonna do this on my uh, 2000 BMW 328CI to start. So that's just my daily driver. So here's what we're gonna try it out on first. So this is my three series, it has about 173,000 miles on it. Has been a really solid daily for about three years now. Now in a lot of cars, the connector will be horizontal, so you'll be able to just plug it in like this. But on this car, there's actually a little flap. You pull down like that, and then it's actually vertical. So I believe it goes in this way. And I can just kind of feel for where the connector is, push it up, and we are connected. Okay, so here on the app, it says install the fixed sensor and turn your engine on. So now it's searching for the sensor. It looks like it found the sensor. I'll name my vehicle uh, BMW 328CI. Submit. So now we've got like the dashboard screen. Now I can hit tap to scan. So now it's asking me to select the vehicle. So I guess I will create a vehicle and now I'm gonna enter my VIN. Now what is my car care preference? Take to a repair shop half and half where you're willing to do some work on your car, but you take it to the shop for larger issues, or I'll do it myself. You attempt to do most all repairs and maintenance yourself, which that is definitely me. Now it says I have one issue found, so I'll scroll down and it looks like it has a possible problem of fuel pressure low. And the error code I got was P1250. The only real consequence is that it may not pass emissions. So that shouldn't be a really big deal for me because here, as long as you don't have a check engine light, you pretty much pass. So I'm not too worried about that code. But what I can do now is do a clear engine light. So then I know if it does come back again, then maybe I will look into it. So now that I know there's nothing really major I need to worry about on this car, let's just look through the app and see what else they have. So I'm gonna go into issue forecast. So this says from observing millions of vehicles, these are the most frequent issues on your vehicle. So that's for the catalytic converter. Crankshaft position sensor. This is actually pretty accurate because I've replaced that sensor in this car just a few thousand miles ago. So that's actually pretty cool that it knows that that's a common uh, problem. So it also gives you this nice little graph that shows you like kind of when the probability of this stuff is uh, happening. And it has a red line here where I am, I'm at 173,000 miles. It looks like actually at 180, it's pretty common for it to happen. I know it happened to me around 160, which was back here. It gives you like a low, medium and a high uh, probability. And then it also mentions fuel system, which I did have that low pressure uh, code. So we're gonna see if that comes back but I don't have any of these other symptoms like uh, engine coughing or misfiring, so I'm not too worried about that right now. So let's see what else it has here in the app. It actually has an incident history report. Might as well click on that and see what it says. So this basically runs your VIN uh, through a database and it actually shows you accident records. So there's no accident records found on this vehicle, no theft, no lien impound, no salvage auction. That's pretty cool. There's nothing surprising here, so we can go back to the app. Let's see if there's any active recalls. This links you to the NHTSA, and it looks like there's two recalls that I actually did kind of know about because they keep sending me letters in the mail. <laughs> so I have the uh, Takata airbag recall. Yeah, I should probably go get that fixed. It's the driver's and the passenger side airbag. That's something I need to contact the dealer about so they can fix that. Back to the app here, there is a button for finding a mechanic. Like I said, I do pretty much everything myself, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But if you hit that button, it will show you uh, mechanics local to you. 
So we're here in the scan tab. Let's go over to the timeline. This gives you a timeline of your car at different mileages as to what you should be checking. For example, at 180, it says check your brake fluid, your clutch, your windshield wash, different lights. So that's a nice feature. It's got a little timeline for you. It does also give you an estimate for a shop to do all of this for you. So you can get an idea if you're getting ripped off or not. And it has a link here for shopping for those parts. And it also shows you down here where you're at with your oil battery tires and wipers. So I didn't enter any of that info yet. So I can go in here to oil miles between oil changes for me about 5,000 because I use full synthetic. So I'm going to update when I did my oil. And so that was about 168,000 miles. It is right about time to change my oil. So you can see oil changes do. Now we can go over to the history tab. So this even shows you things like your vehicle value scan history and incident reports which we already kind of looked into and then recalls let's go over to the toolbox tab we've got emissions pre-check issues forecast live data so let's go into the indicator library this shows you you know all those pictures that you see on your dash i'll admit sometimes some pictures come up that i have absolutely no idea what they mean so that's nice so you don't have to totally guess at uh, what the uh, symbol means on your dash then it's got a performance section daily driving heads up display so if you did have your phone mounted in your car, you could have a heads up display. Actually has a compass on it too. Trip time, altitude. Let's see what this is, dynamic driving heads up display. Oh wow, all right, so if you wanna be like you're in a uh, fighter jet, there you go. Now the last tab is premium. Premium is an upgraded service you can get from them. And I believe right now it's just $60 per year and you get some more things that I already went through like emissions pre-check. A fixed mechanic hotline so you can talk to a mechanic directly about your issues. Uh, you get a confirmed fix for your car and the real cost. Instant history report, which I just went through. Issue forecast, so this forecasts the issues that you're gonna have, which I showed you with the graphing and everything else. So there you go, and now that I cleared that uh, one code, it says there's no errors detected. We will see if that one internal code comes back. And so that really wasn't a problem for me because everything's running fine. I don't have any of those misfires or anything. And it's only really a problem when you go for emissions. And like I said, for me, that shouldn't be an issue. All right guys, so that is the fixed sensor. Overall, pretty pleased with its performance. The app is really easy to navigate and actually has some pretty cool features that I wasn't expecting. And like I said at the beginning, this is normally $59 per sensor, but if you use my link below, it's only $20 per sensor, which is a really great deal. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. I did do a lot of filming this week, so I've got some more new and exciting videos coming your way very soon.